So last week I had a meeting with a guy who, who runs a couple of different really big brands, and at the conclusion of it, he asked me this, uh, this question, or it wasn't really quite a question, it was more of a statement. He said, you know, I work for this company, and I really want to start my own. How do I do it? And, that, um, and he works on big brands, and it prompted me to, I thought about it, and I, I wanted to look out in the market to try to find someone who, who did it, who created a brand, but is still kind of in that entrepreneurial stage. And I looked out and found right one of my favorite products that I actually love. I, I love this product. It's Sweet Leaf Tea. It's a great tea product. But, so I started researching it. And the guy's story that started this has a lot of clues to it. It has a lot of lessons that anybody who's interested in starting their own business can absolutely take from this guy. Um, it's a great conversation, and I can summarize it down in a few things. First, he found the idea, and there was a very specific way that he went about finding the idea. He didn't have an idea of, I want a revolutionary, I want to revolutionize tea. He wanted to be an entrepreneur. And he looked, and he found a hole in the market, and he, that's what he did. He found a hole in the market. So that's one thing he did. He also positioned it in a very intelligent way that had a huge point of difference. So found a hole in the market, positioned it, has been growing the brand ever since. He is not using traditional tools of marketing. He has a very limited marketing budget. He's being very smart. He's being very smart with tools like this. I mean, I wish more brands would, would do this. I mean, wouldn't it be great? You know, brands, a brand manager, right, is, is becoming almost popular culture now. The Coca-Cola has ads that talk about the brand manager, the brand manager of Coca-Cola versus Coke Zero. People know what a brand manager is. Wouldn't it be great instead of just seeing, like, a bag of fertilizer as on Twitter, like, oh, it's, it's uh, Scott's fertilizer is following you. Show me the, the woman that's behind it. Show me the brand manager. Show me the agency person. Let me know what they're doing day to day. That's what he does using some of these tools, which is really cool. And lastly, and this is the best thing, just a week ago it was announced that they just received a significant investment because Nestle bought a, a piece of their company. So Nestle, like multi-huge national conglomerate, buys into their company, only going to make them grow faster. So here's a guy that went from having no idea, zero, no, no idea, having had a job, thought about it, wanted to do it, found a niche, built the brand, positioned it, just sold a big piece of it to a huge multinational conglomerate. That's a great story, and I think you're going to get a bunch from it.